The governor is not backing off at all. In fact, uh, when it comes to education in particular, she seems to have ramped up her comments. She has. Uh, it's sort of an odd situation to be in. I think that Governor Perdue was absolutely right when she and her advisors concluded that she was a net detriment to the Democratic Party's chances of holding the governor's mansion after 2012. So she decided not to run again. That was a sign of good, wise decision-making, something that had not been evident ahead of, <laughs> ahead of that decision, and unfortunately for her has not been evident since then. Now, if you are a detriment to your party's chances of, of holding the governor's office, it's probably because you're not a very good messenger for the party's message or a very good politician in manipulating the sort of the, the levers of public opinion to your advantage. She isn't. She isn't really good at either one of those things. And what has she been doing since the announcement of her retirement from politics? She's been trying to articulate the message of her party in a very public fashion and trying to pull the levers of politics to improve her party's chances in the fall, and neither is working very well. She is, however, receiving a lot of media attention for the things that she has said, and she's been engaging a number of advocacy groups, and there's been a lot of back and forth. So does that mean that she is achieving her goal? Well, if her goal is to make herself look a little silly, then she's succeeding. Uh, media coverage is not her goal, presumably. It's positive coverage or coverage that drives her message rather than her opponent's message. She had something to say. The, the uh, Republicans had passed a budget over her veto, and it is absolutely true that after that budget was implemented, uh, there was some reductions in state employment, including in among the ranks of teachers. Not very many, but there were some. Now, some organizations that uh, favored the Republican budget came and said that the number of state-funded positions in the teaching force in the public schools had actually gone up, which is technically true, but one might argue, yeah, that's only true if you don't include the effect on the local governments and the loss of federal funds and the ultimate issue, the, the ultimate conclusion was a slight reduction in teachers. That would have been a le reasonable point to make. She might have scored some points. Instead, she proceeded to make the rather ridiculous claim that the Republican budget represented the, le the, the least amount of, of tax dollars spent on education in history which had the uh, deficiency of being obviously incorrect and such a ridiculously over-the-top claim that it was destined to be the lead of all the subsequent stories and all this, much of the subsequent coverage would be about her claim, which was never defensible, instead of the Republican claim, which was arguably defensible. So even when she or her party has something to say that might persuade somebody, She's the very worst person to try to make the argument, and I think this episode exemplified it, and instead of learning from it, she just went off and kept making speeches, and I just think that Democrats trying to get back in the game have got to be cringing that things that they wish somebody would say effectively from their per perception are instead being said by Governor Perdue.